Welcome, citizen, to another StarCraft Nation broadcast. I'm your host, Venerati, and right now we're going to be seeing the second matchup in between Nesty and Next Genius. Of course, if you haven't joined us for the previous ones, Next Genius will be playing underneath a different tag right here, but this is definitely him, and if it's not, I'm definitely putting my foot in my mouth. But, 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 <laughs> the last matchup we saw was on Steps of War, and we saw basically the early pressure that was applied by Nest he got flipped on his head and we saw uh, Next Genius able to foregate push into Nest he while he was trying to uh, occupy his natural expansion and Nest he just was not in the position to defend and uh, was eventually just picked off as he spent about five minutes basically dying on the vine well actually longer than that so Nest he though desperately trying to hold on to that fact but what we're doing right now we are in Zelnaga Caverns and we are going to see uh, pretty much, uh, I would say that, I would guess, let me let me prophesize, as I, I watched this one before, but I don't actually remember what exactly happened. But uh, right now we do see Nessie going ahead, getting the 14 uh, drones. We'll be pumping out this one last drone. But the question is, is he going to get the spawning pool, or is he going to go for the natural expansion? As we saw him one base pressure beforehand, it does look actually like he will be moving out here and will be getting this uh, hatchery. Now this is going to be... This is definitely going to change things up for him because we are going to see a slight lull or a pause in his early pressure, but when he finally will be able to pressure the next genius, it's going to be a lot more deadly and it's going to be a lot harder for next genius to actually deal with that than we saw early on with the uh, with the Ling Roach push. I didn't even see, I think we saw six roaches early on coming on the front door, sniping, applying a lot of pressure. He killed three, uh, three pylons and uh, started chewing on one of the gateways, but right now Je Next Genius will be opening it up and uh, will be uh, walling off, it looks like, in the same fashion he did the last time. Yes, he will be queuing up a gateway, not choosing to put his cybernetics core up front, which a lot of people do, and that's okay as long as you're going to be able to actively defend it, as you can get roaches now up on this ramp, and they can snipe it, especially if you put it right here. This is definitely not where you want to put it. But, that's not what's going on here. It's going to be nice and cozy and tucked away right here next to the bosom of this Nexus. So, next, uh, next genes, what are we going to see? I, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not so sure that, that we're going to see much different as right now his course has been completely the same. We're probably going to see more Forgate as Forgate is very strong for uh, Protoss. And, and we saw it work from last time, so I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But right now we do have Nesty. He will be doing a small dr uh, drone transfer. We do see more and more drones coming out for Nesty. We don't see anything uh, as far as military units. In fact, yes, he only has economic units right now, as, as well as, as Next Genius. The Next Genius, of course, scouting this out. We'll be seeing this. Um, going back to the production tab, though, we are going to finally see uh, military units coming out for both of our players here. We're going to see two Stalkers moving out and eight Zerglings. The Metabolic Boost is on the way. And the queens are coming out, and they are vomiting those eggs on these hatcheries, trying to uh, make them, of course, that much more productive. As that's what I do when my hatchery is lonely, is I vomit eggs on it, obviously. But, no, actually, um, it's very fulfilling, especially as a Zerg player, to be able to do that. Um, I like it. I, I, I like how the Zerg have this little addition to the, the hatcheries, and you don't just have to build 50 hatcheries all over the map to... Uh, really ramp up your production, but we do actually have two Stalkers coming out here, applying some uh, unfortunate pressure for this Overlord, as this Overlord will go ahead and will be killed, and uh, yes, there it is, it's going to explode, and guess what, Overlord, but it looks like the Stalkers will be trapped and will die for their insolence right there, as they are definitely not worth that Overlord. The Overlord, of course, not actually supply locking uh, Nest T in any form. Almost supply locking him, but not not quite. This one starter running for its life as these Zerglings are trying to get to it. Of course, they're not quick enough at this moment, but Metabolic Boost will be finishing up here momentarily. And will they be able to get there in time? Ooh, it's going to be close. Maybe, maybe. Yes. Yes, this Zell is not going to let him in there, and he's going to get his... Ch yes, he does get chewed to pieces right there. This one Zell, of course, coming out there at the last second. Um... A little too late there, buddy. And, of course, another Overlord will be going down. Nest of course, suiciding it in the base of Next Genius, trying to figure out what's going on. And he will see the fact that uh, pretty much it's going to be a foregate as, 
Yes, that's, he basically saw everything in the base of uh, Next Genius right there. So going back to everyone's vision right now, we are going to see um, we're going to see Nest Team moving out here with quite the nice little uh, <laughs> the pack of Zerglings right there, occupying the Zelnaga Tower. Of course, trying to keep an eye on Next Genius, trying to figure out what's going on. Next Genius, of course, does look like he might be thinking about expanding right here, as we do see a pylon coming down on the foot of the ramp right there, a forge finishing up there, and a forge being a pivotal part of the of a, an expansion right here is you generally will see a wall off of some sort in between these two points right here, uh, including a cannon. And sometimes you see a forge down here as well. But right now we don't actually see any cannons coming down. We only see more units being reinforced, uh, or more reinforcing units coming out here for next genius. We do see Zerglings moving here, trying to scope out, seeing what's going on. They do look like they well, they were thinking about engaging right there, but of course thinking otherwise because that would not have been the uh, best move for them. We do see a photon cannon coming down here, so we are starting to see the. Uh, the bridging of this gap, and uh, basically just trying to keep those Zerglings out of there. These are quite annoying. Let's go and take a look at the income tab. We are seeing uh, the Harvester count neck and neck right now, but the overall income is not on par uh, simply because, well, look at this. We're seeing overpopulation of Next Genius's main. Uh, of course, this is preparing for the expansion uh, to be populated here, so we are going to see a Harvester transfer here relatively quickly and then we'll go ahead and see the evening out of those incomes but right now we do see a large force coming from nesty as i was talking about before this uh this push is going to be a lot more deadly than we saw the original push by him and i don't know if ness or if uh, next genius has enough to deal with this if they do engage on the cannons it's going to be a uh, difficult for Nesty to do something here, but we could see these Zerglings just engage this, and we do see Force Fields coming down here to block these Roaches, but we do see the Zerglings getting in contact with these Stalkers, with these Cannons, and I'm not sure that, uh, yes, we actually see all of them killed off there. The Roaches just kind of forced to sit there. They could have walked around, but there are so many centuries on the field right now for Next Genius. Next Genius, of course, doing a great job of using those Force Fields and walling off, and basically just splitting up the forces as well, and what you should be doing against the Zerg players because they, the Zerg players need the cohesiveness and any army needs the cohesi cohesiveness to attack together because you don't want to trickle units and you don't want to be caught off guard like that. And uh, basically, this Protoss, once again, showing the uh, effectiveness of these sentries and the fact that they're able to manipulate the battlefield and to do that in an effective manner, you have to be able to micro them. And let's take a look at the APMs right now. Next Genius is... Um, ah, that's a... That is pretty hefty, sitting at an average of 273. That is hot sauce right there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, not, I mean, this, of course, Nesty not shabby in his own right, sitting there with a 184. That is going to uh, steamroll most players right there. But, of course, APM will only take you so far as tactics are really what is going to make the big difference and uh, timing and all that, of course, which falls in, in line with tactics. So, Nesty will be going ahead, breaking down these rocks, will be... Uh, uniting this expansion and able to this is just allowing him to reinforce this uh, relatively quickly and we're not seeing any sort of static defenses coming down for Nesty so Nesty uh, you know that that kind of that kind of building or lack of building this kind of shows you that he's going to be feeling a little bit aggressive here and in fact as long as he keeps the pressure up on next genius he's not going to need uh, static defenses as, as many people would uh, have quoted through history as the best offense or the best defense is a offense so I guess that's exactly what he's thinking about doing but right now Nesty looks like he's about to be pressured here by Next Genius so Next Genius kind of moving up here yeah you know kind of doing that thing and uh, putting a pylon up here so they can go ahead and reinforce these are kind of poking around trying to uh, really feel out the effectiveness and the, the real strength of uh, Next Genius's forces right here so this uh, one uh, creep tumor of course will allow him to kind of get a good good vision on this. You'll see more and more stalkers being forced in here. And we do see roaches coming in, getting a nice surround here. But of course these force fields will be kind of uh, neutering that surround there as they're not going to be able to get in range. And we see more force fields coming down here, allowing Next Genius to engage uh, Nest T at his own will pretty much. And just so many roaches though, I don't know if it's going to be enough as all those force fields are dissipating. All those sentries have gone down. We see more stalkers coming in here. We see just the focus firing of these stalkers and these roaches just being stubborn will not go down. We see them moving back here. We'll be uh, we'll be engaging those <laughs> those, those zealots, and that one's out just kind of stand there and taking it. And uh, next genius is full retreat right now as Nest he fended off that attack with quite the superior force. I'd have to say as this roaches are just too uh, they were too numerous and too thick for those stalkers to best. Now we do have mutalisks 
entering the field for Nesty. Nesty bringing up two more. So it will bring him to a grand total of seven right now, eight right now, with uh, two more online. So he will be having ten. We do see the uh, attack level one coming on for the air units and more vomiting going here by that queen. And uh, this, uh, this expansion right here will be coming online. So with the mining out of the main, he will be able to easily roll into this expansion and keep his uh, economy going and not really have to worry about any downtime so that he may or may not be able to reinforce his armies. Taking a look at the units tab, we have 10 mutilists on the field right now, 15 roaches, and uh, a few zerglings, just kind of, you know, picket zerglings. We have one zergling over here just kind of poking around trying to uh, figure out what's going on. We do have the mutilists coming up here, and we'll be doing what they do best, and they will be harassing, as there are no cannons in the main, and next genius is about to lose some uh, probes right here. As we see volley after volley of glaive worms going down on this trail of uh, probes, and of course the probes getting in here, getting within the uh, range of these photon cannons, but the mutilists not going to, uh, not going to be outdone, will actually be recalled, because next genius is going to be pressuring the main of Nesty and Nesty, uh, really not liking that. We'll be bringing them back here, and looks like they were going to get a nice little surround here. As we see these two overlords, oh, and these mutilists being caught out in the open. This is not where you want to be, as these mutilists are way outnumbered by these stalkers. Of course, these stalkers trying to uh, micro as much as they possibly can. We actually have drones out here on the front, so Nesty really trying to make this count, as this is going to be very desperate. If Nesty cannot repel this, this is going to be GG. As a uh, next genius has a lot of stalkers on the field right now. Nesty forced to move back. This queen will be caught out in the open. It looks like she will actually be killed. Maybe. Oh, mm, nope. No, actually, she will be okay as uh, there are more important things for Next Genius's army to be attacking right here. And mainly this hatch where you see more roaches rallying in here. And it was a, almost a bad rally. It's finally catching hold. Will be attacking. We've seen a small concave going on on uh, the stalkers right here. But of course, more stalkers being warped in here. And these mutas and the queens and everyone sitting here pitching in, trying to save the expansion right here. For Nesty, trying to save that uh, that hatchery and these roaches just moving in here, continuing to apply pressure, continuing to reinforce. But uh, basically, this next gene is able to reinforce because of this pylon. So right now, we just see zealots moving in the uh, ranks of these roaches, and this is going to be pretty brutal. As this is neck and neck, we see a whole crap ton of zerglings moving up here. Of course, these zerglings are going to be more than uh, more than at, more than willing to kill these. Uh, kill these stalkers because this stalker heavy army is not going to be well suited to kill these zerglings as they're going to be too numerous and uh, pretty much the as we do see of course right here the versus armor uh, damage will be uh, will be vacant as there won't be there as these uh, zerglings are considered light damage units as most of you know so right now kind of see a lull in the battle right now we see a few uh, sentries coming in here these sentries will be able to uh, keep the forces of Nesty at bay, and we see four sentries on the field for Next Genius. So Next Genius sitting here looking to manipulate once again, though uh, not wanting to sit there on his haunches for too long, will be moving out here to pressure this expansion. Of course, Nesty will be seeing this, will be moving out here with part of his army, leaving part of his roaches behind. So right now this could be a bad position. You do not want to engage without the entirety of your army. And uh, Nesty has a lot sitting there, and we actually will see him, move, him moving out, but choosing to move out in a flanking manner as trying to catch uh, Next Genius on this ramp right here. Of course, this pylon will be getting sniped right here. Nesty uh, will be trying to get this. Will he be able to get it as Next Genius will be throwing down some force fields, but will it be enough as we see the reinforcing pylon trying to be sniped right there? Yes, it does snipe, and those stalkers that were in mid-warp will be killed off right there. So right now, we see these stalkers right here completely surrounded by these roaches. I do believe these roaches will be enough as these stalkers have no no reinforcements coming in here. And meanwhile, Nesky, of course, queuing up a lot of roaches, more roaches uh, showing up here. These roaches getting up nice and close to these stalkers and will be finishing all of them up. So next genius right there, completely destroyed and surrounded and not wanting to continue the game, will be GGing out as this was a, a massive herd of... Uh, of roaches moving up there. So we're only four stalkers and four zealots on the field for Next Genius. And uh, yeah, there was a complete doubling of uh, of the forces of Next Genius by Nesty. So Nesty able to take the second game here, able to just overwhelm with these roaches. And these roaches just proving how brutally awesome they are and how awesome the combination of Roach and Muta is as those mutilists. We didn't see that much mutilist harassment, but uh, it was more because uh, 
Next Genius was able to apply a lot of pressure and force Nest T to pull the Mutalisk off of the attack. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think, and as always, citizens, stay safe.